See? How lively. You really need to come and see it in person for the full effect. And that's thanks to your efforts, Wenshu. Well, I'm just doing my job. I should be the one thanking you. After all, without the Midnight Rangers tirelessly guarding the front lines, the Riverside Games wouldn't be possible. Don't always be so tense. Sometimes you have to give yourself a breather. It's not good to push yourself too hard. So, how about picking up an event to participate in? Wenshu, thank you, but you don't have to pitch me. Why not? Go, enjoy your youth. I would have rushed to sign up if I was still young. Rover, it's good to see you here. Oh, I guess you must be the Rover. Nice to meet you. I'm the director of the Riverside Games. You can call me Wenshu. Huh. I almost dropped the ball on this one. I would have forgotten to send out those invitations without Jian's reminder. It's not worth mentioning, Wenshu. This is the first Riverside Games in many years. And you must have been busy with various matters. I only offered a little help when I could. Rover, it's a slow day today. Please take a break and have some fun. That's right. Go participate in the event, you two. That's how you enjoy your day off. Of course. The Jinjo Riverside Games is an event for all people to enjoy. Indeed. I'm looking forward to your performance, Rover. Only a few events specifically require participants to be resonators. Other than that, there are no special restrictions for any event. We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. <laughs> Look at him. Jian still remembers the rules better than I do. Who would have thought? During the preparation, I came across some pictures from past games and instantly felt a rush of adrenaline. Ah, it's a pity that the Midnight Rangers are always on the front lines, getting ready for emergencies. The Riverside Games is their only chance to relax and have some fun. Rover, I suggest looking around for events to join if you're interested. Many of them are open to on-site registration. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to confirm the safety of the surroundings before the race begins. You can consult Wenshu should you need any assistance. Have a great time, Rover. Oh, well, I didn't invite him over for that. I hoped he'd come and relax, not find a new place to work. On the other hand, we couldn't have brought the situation of the borders under control without Jian's prudence. Sorry, I'm getting off track. The Gold Puff Relay is about to start, and I have to go to the scene in case anything happens. Especially those still warming up in the backup lane. Gotta bring them over. Rover, are you coming with me? hours of training for nothing we're doomed don't give up yet we've still got some time before the relay starts Ling Yen Ganchuan what's wrong hi Wen Shu and this is this is Rover perfect timing we're having a bit of a situation right now Two of our teammates accidentally injured themselves during warm-up. Luckily, the wounds weren't too bad, but the doctor said that they wouldn't be able to participate in the relay anytime soon. We've asked the organizing committee, said we could still participate with temporary teammates. But the relay is starting soon. It's impossible to find another person to join us, not to mention two. Oh. First our captain had to quit because of some family emergency, and now this? Ugh. Are we supposed to just wait for the next Riverside Games? Who knows when that will be? Speaking of which, do you have a team, Rover? Rover is also a Resonator. He's fully qualified for the Gulp Puff Relay. Still, it depends on whether he'd like to join you. It's simple. Four people take turns controlling a Gullpuff in a relay race. 
The first team to reach the finish line wins. Thank you so much. If we could get the prize money, we'll definitely split it with you. That's right. We'll buy you the best barbecue in Jinjo. That place is everyone's favorite. Then you're only one person short for the relay. I know a good candidate for that. Uh, who? Bingo. Ah. Uh? Oh, why didn't I think of him? Huh? Are you serious? The general doesn't look like he'd be interested in events like this. Well, there's more to your general than you know. That's all I can say. What do you mean? Instead of asking questions here, why don't you just go and invite him? I don't have the guts. Go invite him now. And you may still have a chance to get him on board. Don't let others take your chance. We're counting on you, Rover. Rover, what are you doing here? Have you found any event that you're interested in? Trouble. If you're comfortable sharing, tell me about it. Maybe I can help. So, you want me to join the relay as your temporary teammate? The key to winning a relay race lies in mutual understanding, cooperation, and trust among team members. Most of the teams are formed according to the Midnight Rangers units they belong to. Therefore, they are familiar with their teammates and have good teamwork. I believe you can find a better candidate for your team. That candidate doesn't have to be me. Disqualification for teams without enough participants. Yes, I remember that rule. I imagine your teammates would be greatly disappointed if that happened. But given we never trained together before, it may prove challenging to win. A temporary team. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. It's been a long time since I've last heard that phrase. Indeed. No need to worry about the end result before the competition begins. Yes. I'll join you. Spectators are gathering along the lanes. The race should start soon. Let's go join our new teammates. Huh. Nothing. Perhaps it's just my imagination. to rope the general in? Greetings, General Jiyun. Rover? Rover has told me what happened. I will join you. Not to be a party pooper here, but 
as a last minute team, we probably won't hit the record. Unless. Unless what? Uh, sorry. Forget about it. Ten years ago, a team set the record in the Gullpuff relay race. That record remains unbeaten to this day. Since then, every time the games are held, a major highlight is whether the record will be broken. Yeah, I really wanted to learn from their strategy. But the video of that race got borrowed and never returned. Bummer. They set the record. They must have trained together for a long time. Well, we're a temporary team. Would have been able to learn much from it anyway. Keep your chin up. Your hard work will pay off. Not to mention the team you were talking about was a temporary team too. Wow, so even General Jian has heard of that race. Yes, that was a good race. Well, it's been 10 years. I wonder how that team's doing now. We should worry about ourselves first. There's not much time left, and we haven't even decided the relay order. Ah, the relay order. It used to be decided by the captain. Then, General, can you decide it for us? As you have trained together extensively, I trust you can decide the order better than me. I will gladly cooperate to the best of my abilities. All right. In that case, I think Gunchuan would be perfect as a first runner. Me? The first? Seriously? You've always been the first runner during our training. Surely you'll make a good start. The first runner doesn't need to coordinate with the two of us. He only needs to exchange the controller with Ling Yan. It's a safe arrangement indeed. Whew. I'll do my best. Hmm. As for General Ji Yan and Rover, I think... General, can you be the connecting third runner? Since you're familiar with both Rover and us Midnight Rangers. A reasonable strategy. I agree. Then the relay order would be me first, followed by Ling Yan, then General Ji Yan, and Rover last. Rover, this is your first race, and you may receive plenty of attention as the last runner. Please stay calm and relax. I'm glad to hear that. Any other questions? Yes! Our team doesn't have a name yet. Since Rover brought this team together, maybe we should let him decide the name. Good. It sounds easy to remember. The name is settled then. Everyone, please get ready in your designated exchange zones. We can stay in touch with our terminals once the race begins. We're entering the final stage of the competition. General GM and Rover have successfully passed the baton. Be careful of the driftwood. Jump over it. Despite it being Rover's debut race, he's Good. demonstrating impressive skill. Come on! Come oh, on! No! That team We're in the lead now. Forward. Don't worry, Whoa. keep going.
I'm sorry for what just happened. You almost reached the finish line and then... Rover, did you notice anything unusual before? An unfamiliar voice briefly interrupted our team's channel. Wenchu, let's evacuate the spectators now. Send them back to the city in batches. I understand. But most of the teams are waiting to start their race. And it's our first Riverside Games in years. Ending it early may spoil their fun. The voice you mentioned. Could it be our spectators cheering? When Rover asked me to team up with him, I heard something similar by the racing lane. I have requested the monitoring data records of all nearby waterways from the Academy for safety measures. I see. I thought the Gull Puffs were just frightened. There might be an underlying cause of this unusual behavior. The records will take some more time to download. Evacuate the people first. I trust your decision, but... A man somehow ended up riding a Gull Puff when it all happened, and he seemed to really enjoy it. Now other people are eager to give it a try, too. They all seem super excited. I guess it will take some time to evacuate them. Get that person to leave first, and the other should follow. Wenshu, I'm going with you. Of course. Rover, you are respected by many. If you're willing to help us calm people down, it will make things easier for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, please calm down and stop talking about riding gull puffs. But that was really fun! May I have your hand? What? What's wrong? Nothing major. I just need to confirm something. As I expected. Huh? When did I get hurt? I didn't feel it at all. The adrenaline from excitement may have dampened your sensitivity to pain. However, your nervous response betrays your condition. Your right hand has been shaking involuntarily, likely because the wound has been left untreated. Fortunately, it's not caused by the gull puffs. Please take this to relieve the pain for now. Ouch! Oh, it's really starting to hurt now that you've mentioned it. All right. Have you calmed down now? I'm sorry. I, I got a little carried away. I'm sorry again for the trouble I've caused. Let's go have someone see to your wound. Rover, fancy seeing you here. I don't want to spoil your fun, but I'm afraid we need to suspend the race for now. Can you fill us in on the data? I checked the monitoring data as you asked, and I found unusual fluctuations near the upper waters to the north. Why didn't the nearest beacon pick up on this anomaly? The resonance beacon is functioning properly, but we still don't know why it didn't issue a warning this time. I will investigate this further at a later time. Animals are often the first to detect signs of danger. Tacit discords are similar to animals in this regard. They're very sensitive to any change in the frequencies in their surroundings. And that's why those gull puffs went haywire. I suppose that's why you asked me to check the monitoring data for you, GM? Yes. The timing of this change is concerning. Why did it happen precisely during the Riverside Games? Perhaps the Riverside Games frequency resonated with something in the upper waters. Yes, let's go. The lack of perceivable warning signs typically suggests unknown risks. GM, Rover, stay safe. Let's <laughs> 
The tacit discords are increasing. Let's take them down first. It's the retroag rain. We need to hurry up. Voices are coming from here. It might be trying to tell us something. We need to decipher the message somehow. during the Riverside Games mingled together with cries for help. Perhaps some people have been trapped in this place. Or maybe... Anyway, we have to figure it out. Yes and no. Technically, it's a replica of the city made up of remnant frequencies. Simply put, it's an illusion made of memories. Scholars would call it a sonarosphere. The environment here is ever-changing. One misstep and you may fall. Stay close to me. Are these the spectators we saw earlier? No. They are memory projections from the previous Riverside games. I can't quite describe it, but something feels wrong with them. It's almost as if they're merely soulless shells. Let's keep moving. It's the temporary team from a decade ago. I'm fine. Brought back some memories. According to Mortifee's speculation, this sonar sphere was resonating with the Riverside game's frequencies, and it led to the abnormal fluctuations we detected earlier.
It's the tacit discords. Watch out. Tell the truth of the song. Imitation. <laughs> All is fair in war. Hide the time. Tell the truth of the song. They seem to be playing a game of imitation. Those are nothing but empty shells, no matter how lifelike they may seem. All of this, I have a feeling it all ties back to the temporary team. I rarely ever mention it, but ten years ago, I was a part of that temporary team. Back then, It's the Nell Square's bell. Don't worry. I'm here with you. We'll go see for ourselves. <gasps> Wait, Rover. Look out the window. The city's upside down. So is everything in this place like this? Are these fallen soldiers manifestations of memories? Or the tacit discords imitations? They're tacit discords. Stay close to me. Tacit Discord's rover. Tell truth of the sun. Set. Summer! Roll for me. Target confirmed. Misery follows. A decade ago, shortly after the conclusion of the previous Riverside Games, a sudden TD outbreak struck the Deserock Highland. Yes, the Midnight Rangers had to send its latest recruits to the front line because of the situation's urgency. In the end, we contained the outbreak at a heavy price. The battle took countless lives. Our victory was overshadowed by the immeasurable loss. And they were not the only ones who lost their lives in the Deserock Highland. This Sonora Sphere is probably made up of the reverberations they left behind. As tacit discords devoured the fallen soldiers' frequencies, they became convinced they were the soldiers they feasted upon. Now, they're just reenacting what happened in their memories. But it seems the remaining frequencies of our soldiers are still resisting. Yes, the tacit discords are merging together. This will endanger more civilian lives if we allow it to occur. It would seem so. It's the bell. They must be showing the way for us. Extra supplies. 
bell sounds closer now. The tacit discord should be aware of our presence now. They'll be harder to deal with. Brace yourself for the fight. The atmosphere is thick and dangerous. Let's take down the Marlins first. Imitation. Going against wind. Photosynthesis. Listen up. You're wide open. Uh, stop. now I think it's because of you me but I didn't even know them I was wondering why this year of all times when the Riverside games have been held before and you are the only variable here you invited me to join your temporary team so Ganchuan and Ling Yan can still participate in the race we initially fell behind but later reclaimed the lead it's like a deja vu of the race from a decade ago. And that's what triggered the resonance. The fallen soldiers, they must have held on to those memories dearly. That's how they resisted merging with the tacit discords. Yes, they have been silently fighting for us all these years, or we would have faced a TD outbreak. During that past battle on Deserok Highland, did you? Yes, we fought together. They probably didn't want it to happen again. All those deaths and losses. And so they called out to us for help. Let's move on, Rover. Luminous energy. Okay, imitation. Unleash the fans. All is fair in war. Ready for battle. Retreat from the sun.
nonsense. They're reenacting our first lesson for new recruits. During their first lesson, new recruits must pay tribute to fallen soldiers in Nell Square. We are required to do this before being allowed on the battlefield. Its significance eluded most of us during initial training, myself included. Until that day. Yes, I didn't attend the memorial that day, but that was when I finally realized. Nell Square. It is the place where our career as soldiers begins and ends. These monsters will never fathom the weight of their sacrifices. Thank you, Rover. I'm fine.
They've been trapped here for 10 years, and now finally free. I hope they're in a better place. What happened here goes far beyond what we know about the wave-worn phenomena so far. I've sampled some of the frequencies here with my terminal. We should deliver the sample to the Academy. <sighs> Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. We're no longer seeing any unusual fluctuations now. Good job. You should have successfully prevented a potential TD outbreak. As you requested, I compared the fluctuations with those of the previous outbreaks, and I did spot some similarities. Thank you, Mordevi. I'm not done yet. Thank me later if you must. Though there are some similarities, they aren't identical. I'm no expert in this field, and I can't give you any definitive conclusions yet. This is the frequency sample I've recorded. Frequency sample from a Sonorosphere. I'll deliver it to a colleague. It's in better hands with her. It's someone you know, Baija. She specializes in echoacoustic research, and the Sonorosphere is her field of expertise. Yes. Whatever you do, please keep it safe. What now? You don't trust me? I trust you as always, Mortify. But this sample, it means a lot to me. Rest assured, you should know how careful we are with our samples, especially such a valuable one. This should be our wake-up call. The wave-worn phenomena is more complicated than we thought. It is a wake-up call, and it may also hold the answers we've been searching for all these. By the way, the Riverside Games people were looking for you, GM. Probably wanted to discuss holding the event again at a later date. Sure. I'll go talk to them once everything is settled here. Now, if there's nothing else, I'm going back to my lab. Rover, there is a place I need to visit. Could you come with me? Thank you. I need to pick up something first. See you at Nell Square. Something I wish to do with you today. A seed. This is the seed of a resilient type of flower, which I asked the Academy to help me breed years ago. From here, you can see all of Jinjo City. I thought, those who died for Jinjo would want to see how it's thriving now. This flower, we named it the Amordia. Yes, the word represents both departure and return. Yes. I know there's nothing we can do to bring them back. But for us still living, we need something like this to hold on to. Thank you, Rover, for finally bringing them peace. Now they no longer have to fight. And this is why I believe you should be the one to plant this seed here.
We have prevented one outbreak for the time being. But a greater danger remains lurking in the darkness. Our knowledge of it is severely lacking. I must act to prevent more deaths. Rover, I have one more request. If one day I perish in battle and cannot return home, could you please plant one of these flowers for me? Thank you, Rover. Rover, I heard you'd return to the city with General Jian. Ah, oh, what a relief. I am beyond happy to know you're all safe and sound. There is something I forgot to give you. Let's meet up somewhere when you have the time. Greetings, Rover. You see those fish? They look so happy in the safety of their pond. Happiness and safety often come at a cost, whether it be for fish or people. And if we don't feel the weight of that price, someone else is carrying it for us. Ten years. How time flies. I coordinated the Riverside Games that year, too. Dozens of teams competed that day, and the race lasted well into the afternoon. The sunset was so beautiful. Like what we're seeing now, it was so tranquil. That team was thrown together last minute, and nobody thought they could win. They even stumbled during their first exchange, but then, the team surprised everyone with their final runner's expert gulp of handling and victorious finish. It was truly a race to remember. <laughs> yes. I still remember how excited those kids looked. Just like how you looked in this photo. We were worried we weren't going to get a photo of you all together. Luckily, the photographer managed to capture a shot of the whole team. I should thank you for bringing that team together, Rover. I'm planning to talk to Jeanne about hosting the Riverside Games another time. If all goes well, please join us. <laughs>